god. What am I doing now without a lip brush? I don't know. Playing games, but I just put my I just got a lipstick all on my tights. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video um, on makeup. So I've decided pretty much that every second week I'm going to try and do something beauty related and nobody asked. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and do something beauty related because why not? You know what I mean? Today, basically, just I'm going to do a kind of try on with one of my most, like, honestly, top two favorite makeup brands, and it's Pat McGrath. Guys, I just stand. Pat McGrath so freaking hard okay so I'm gonna be doing a lipstick try on because online when you try and look at swatches it's it's like like I know they try and be really like inclusive and everything like I know they there are brands that are inclusive but I guess it's a bit harder sometimes to find sometimes things for brown like Indian skin tones um, so like and there were a couple of um, you know there were a couple of shades that I was really interested in that I was like hello I want to try it and I was like whenever I get a chance to actually sit down and once I receive these lipsticks once I sit down and um, actually get them I'm gonna do a little try on so I've been using these lipsticks all of them by the way um, for the last two three months I love them um, so I literally just pulled them out. I feel like one of my favorite ones isn't here. Like my OG favorite one isn't here. I think I've lost it or my mom stole it. Okay, not stole it. Borrowed it. <laughs> um, I don't know. Wait, it's gone. Maybe Ashna stole it. I don't know. But I've got four lipsticks here that I'm going to try. So I'm going to try, I mean, not try, but like show you guys what it looks like on brown skin. Um, full blooded. Guinevere. Guinevere is one of my favorites. Full Blooded is one of my favorites too. Um, Omi and 1995. I'm really sure I put 1995 in a full one, but I know I didn't. I did buy it, sorry, and I lost it. And, or it got borrowed. Um, and then I also have Flesh 6 and Flesh Fantasy in the glosses. So it's going to be a relatively short video but I'm excited just to kind of swatch it and try it on and show you guys what it looks like and um, I once again I don't know if Pat McGrath does ship um, online to other countries but I am aware that she kind of ships to Australia so you can have a look online I buy directly from her I know Sephora carries her range as well so we're gonna start by taking my current lip buff which is a velvet teddy I do love the natural shade of my lips as well. Take it off here. That's right. Oh my god, which one should I start with? Okay, I think I'm going to start with the glosses first, okay? So because the other ones are quite pigmented and they're going to leave quite a pigment. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to start with Lust Gloss. So in the shade Flesh 6. So this is what it looks like. It's quite brown until you actually swatch it on your skin and then again it looks brown like that so it is a gloss this is so much fun i did not think i'd be having this much fun like doing youtubes so the reason why I, oh my god the reason why i got Pat McGrath lip glosses is because look at the finish. I'm sorry if I get any lipstick elsewhere. I probably will. In so many of my videos, I literally look back and it's like, ah, oh, lipstick camera. I'm like, cool. Ooh. By the way, obviously, none of this is sponsored. It doesn't even go without saying. Please. All right. Ugh. Oh, God. The next one. Oh, I already tried this. Should I throw it? 
<laughs> my god okay i chopped it that was super expensive i did not appreciate doing that to myself uh next one i'm trying is flesh fantasy lust gloss no wait lust gloss lip gloss in flesh fantasy yes look at that so it's really nice I wouldn't say there's any smells associated with this. So off the bat, oh, I should probably clean my arm as well. Off the bat, it is a really nice color. Let's swatch that. So this is definitely more of a pink. I'm not wasting so much on my arm. I paid for these myself. Oh my God, it's so pretty. This is one, this is no lie, one of my favorite ones. Chuck it on. By the way, if you can see any of my upper lip hairs, I got threaded 10 days ago. Maybe 12 days ago. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. It's so hard. So that's what it looks like, Flesh Fantasy. It's more of a translucent pink color. Um, and it's just so fun just to like chuck it on your um, face, on your makeup. That you already have going on and just go like okay so I've got on 1995 okay so it looks like this it's this pink shade so it's that now you can see what it kind of looks like all right so you can you know I'm a brown significantly brown person so yeah this is this is what 1995 looks like on me still cute but not my fave. Definitely not one of the shades that I do reach for. Um, but it's beautiful nonetheless. Like I actually really like it with the makeup that I have on today. But we'll see what it looks like when I edit. The next one I'm gonna try is... Now this is Omi. So see that? Uh, that is Omi here. That's Omi. That's 1995. It's not, okay, you know what? I'm really judging myself. It's not bad, I actually like it. So this is what it does look like with a full face of makeup. I, I really like it, I'm enjoying it. So I might actually pull these out the next time I am doing a look like this. It is, yeah, it is, it is beautiful with, I think, a bold eye as well. Now we take it off. I'm going to try, I'm going to try and put Guinevere. Oh, look at that. You can really see in the full size, like, oh my goodness. This lipstick. These are from the Matt Trance collection, as are the other two. And can I just say one thing? They require, like, I need a lip brush to put it on. What am I doing now without a lip brush? I don't know. Playing games, but I came back. I had to fix it honestly it's one of those like super intense matte lipsticks so this is what Guinevere looks like on me so swatched and then the color well I swear like I don't try and smile too much because I'm just like no. like <laughs> it's so amazing oh, goodness yeah so this lipstick once you put it on it's a mood, it is an attitude, it is a change. Like I guarantee you, the moment you put this on, even if I'm super happy and smiley person, I'm a Leo, super happy smiley, but like once you put this on, you go straight to Scorpio, you know? You go straight to like intense, moody, attitude, mysterious, yeah. I will not tell you my life secrets like I usually do, no, I will guard them, I, I'm, I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn vibes and we have one more after this <laughs> yeah so the finish of Pat McGrath matte lipsticks they're so comfortable they're so wearable I can wear this the whole day and it doesn't like get irritating or chalky um, on my lips I, I really enjoy wearing them and the color like look at the vibrancy of this I don't know and I'm back I had to seriously put so much effort into taking that off properly because if you're not careful, these lipsticks are so pigmented that they can just go smearing across your face. Like, I can go from what I was like 
two seconds ago to the joke or real quick it's not even a joke like no no lie next one that i'm doing is full-blooded why am i relax nobody wants to see the back so this is full-blooded i have worn this in another video that's funny oh my god i just put my i just got lipstick all on my tights this is full-blooded again an attitude change but this is what it looks like so it does have more it is a bit similar to Guinevere but Guinevere has more like apparently according to the website like blue toned reds this one is a bit more of a plum I really do feel cool in this one and I like the aesthetic so now you can kind of see what these tones do look like on I guess more of the brown skin tone that I am I hope you all enjoyed this video and you all enjoyed the, the content that I am making over the past few weeks let me know what else you want me to try out I am definitely going to do a Pat McGrath um, lipstick try on part two but um, I hope that you guys did learn something so Pat McGrath lipsticks they are pricey like definitely definitely on the pricier and they are a luxury lipstick but the quality is incredible they last for ages I use this on an almost weekly to daily basis and they have been going for months and months so maybe for like a special occasion um, if you want to splash out on it, it I would definitely recommend it um, the colors and the pigments are just fantastic especially for women of color so I do hope that you enjoyed this video I am going to try and upload every second week a beauty video to try and help maybe more brown skin women that are my tone and my sister's tones so just to kind of you know why not just just to kind of get it out there and share some info so that is it from me if you like today's video please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to really stay tuned into everything and i'll see you guys next week bye